Today I'm cooking at home and I'm making one of my favorite Thanksgiving side dishes, green bean casserole. To start with, I'm thinly slicing a brown onion. I'm also gonna add a couple of shallots. I like the depth of flavor of having two different onions in this casserole. I'm also going to add in some fresh garlic that has been minced, followed by some flat leaf Italian parsley. That's gonna go on the sauce and it's gonna give it a nice pretty color. I'm almost finished thinly slicing a pack of cremini mushrooms that I have taken a damp towel to the tops to get all the dirt off and I've also taken the stems out. I have a pot of water that has been simmering on the stove ready so that I can blanch the green beans. So I've cut the green beans in half, I've also removed the stems and I'm gonna let them hang out in that simmering water over medium high heat for about five minutes. I want the green beans to soften, but I don't want them to overcook. I don't want them to mush. And I have a bowl of ice water ready to put them in after five minutes. Set a timer. Look how gorgeous the green color sets when they're hanging out in that ice bath. In the same pot, I'm melting some butter so that I can begin sauteing the onions, shallots, and garlic. And I want these to cook low and slow. So this is about a 10 minute process. I don't want to like deeply brown them. I want them to become translucent. I'm seasoning them with some kosher salt and pepper. And I just want to make sure that they have uh, softened and they're starting to turn a little golden brown. Then I'm going to remove them to a uh, nine by 13 casserole baking dish. And I'm not even spraying the casserole dish it's not necessary you can you can put some oil or butter in it but it really isn't necessary same pot i didn't even clean it i dropped in those mushrooms i didn't even put any butter in there and i just began sauteing the mushrooms until they started to become brown on both sides they shriveled to almost nothing but they're going to give the sauce an amazing color so i'm leaving the mushroom juice that's left in there i'm adding some butter and flour to make a roux and then I'm going to slowly start streaming in some chicken stock and you have to do it very slow and keep stirring. I also put some soy sauce in. You wanna stir and make sure you're not developing any lumps. And so you have to add slowly, otherwise your mixture is gonna be way too thin. So I add a little bit and then you can see I added the half and half to give it that creamy texture and flavor followed by the Italian flat leaf parsley. So just making sure all of that is thick, delicious, and ready to add into the mixture with the veggies. So on that casserole dish, I have the onions, the shallots, and the mushrooms. I'm now gonna add in the drained green beans. Once those are all in, I'm going to give this a good mix. And I'm making a double batch of my recipe because uh, I'm actually making it ahead of time and putting it in the freezer for Thanksgiving. So I'm just giving all of that a good mix before I put the sauce on. And now this sauce, which is so much better than a uh, canned cream of mushroom, the flavor, you just can't, you can't imagine. It just tastes so, so much better. So I'm getting all the sauce out of the pot. My oven, if I was baking this right now, would be preheated to 350 degrees. And once all this is stirred, I would cover the top with foil and bake it for about 20 minutes or until the sauce starts to bubble. Then I pull it out, take the foil off, and I put the uh, fried onions on top followed by some shredded cheese. I like to use Gruyere. And you can see I'm just baking a little bit, a little sample of it in a small baking dish. This was like a single serving that I ate for lunch. So this has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm putting the fried onions on top, followed by a little Gruyere cheese, just because I love Gruyere cheese, but Parmesan cheese would be great on this as well. Then this has to go back into the oven for about five to 10 minutes. You want the cheese to melt, you want the fried onions to toast up a little bit, and then it's ready for service. You pull it out, you serve it with your turkey or uh, roast chicken. I mean, this creamy casserole dish could be served all year round. It really is a winner. It's delicious, it has so much flavor, and it's way better than using the cream of mushroom can. Just saying. For this recipe and more, visit myclasscancook.com.